Hi, I'm drummer Snappy Smith, and welcome to lesson one of my couch series. Uh, you and me sitting on a couch with a practice pad, going over some of the basic uh, lessons that I learned from Freddie Gruber. And uh, these first uh, four or five lessons will be mainly uh, taken from the Buddy Rich book. This is, I think, the primary book that uh, Freddie used to always use, always start with. And again, you know, I've got, uh, you know, pages and pages of comments and little exercises and, uh, and such. So I go on through the book and kind of derive, you know, kind of four or five main lessons, kind of breaks down the, the, the main, you know, uh, heart of kind of what he was teaching his technique about. Um, so in lesson one here, we're going to go, go over the, the real basic uh, 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 steps. And uh, this is usually how his, at least how his lesson began with me. It was a little piece of paper with these basic uh, fulcrum exercises. And then from there, going to exercises out of the Buddy Rich book. So, uh, you know, the first step was establishing the fulcrum and the balance point of the stick. And he just had you, you know, hold the stick loosely in your hand. It was always about uh, creating this embouchure in the hand and basically letting the stick bounce off your middle finger. That was your fulcrum finger. It's not from here. It's from the back part of the stick. So that was step one, just you doing that. And of course, with the left hand, traditional grip would be off the crotch of the thumb. Then once that was established, <clears throat> then he'd have you go into closed position. And this was about uh, having your third and fourth finger on the back part of the stick, lightly touching it, and squeezing the stick into uh, the palm of the hand. So bouncing and then squeezing. Bouncing and with the left hand, it was... Uh, keeping the third and fourth finger close to the palm. In fact, for me, uh, lots of, for, for a lot of lessons, he had me use a rubber band around my hand to hold these fingers out of the way so I could really establish this kind of locked, kind of closed position. And you want the stick to basically be balanced in the hand, you know, the same with, with the right hand, uh, you know, between the kind of the back part of the hand and, and your fulcrum. So you've got this kind of good, free, floating, balanced uh, feel in the hand of the stick. So it kind of moves with your arms. And then from that, from that release, remember that, from that released position, uh, pulling it up into a closed position. Now, from this position, this would be kind of your strike position. And it's very important to establish a strike position. Uh, a lot of drummers or teachers may not really get into this, <clears throat> but it is really key to um, to even consistent playing, and especially to having good timing, because everything you do it uh, leaves from and comes back to your strike position, and that gives you that kind of foundation to your drumming. Freddie would say, call it your terra firma. He'd uh, use a, an example of you know dancing on, on the ground or the or the floor, and that's your foundation. And you know, dancers don't uh, you know don't hit hit the floor like a drummer does. They're standing on the floor and then they go from the floor up and land back on it. So you want to have that kind of same kind of level foundation to your drumming that you're always kind of, that helps you really have consistent, even, um, balanced movements. So here we are, releasing into closed positions and. Now we're going to go and from that squeeze position, we're going to keep squeezing and squeeze the stick up. And it's amazing how that works because just the natural movement of the hand by squeezing your third and fourth finger, your hand naturally kind of pulls up, doesn't it? As you kind of just squeeze these, th these third and fourth fingers into your palm, it naturally causes your hand to kind of twist a little bit. So it's a natural way to pull the stick up rather than lifting it up from let's say, you, you know, your, your forefinger and your thumb, and using these top muscles to pull it up, this actually kind of pulls it up that way. So strike position now, we're squeezing it up into your uh, position. And uh, he always wanted the tips of the sticks kind of pointing towards your nose. So with the elbow out and the left arm kind of tucked in. So that was your, your starting point. And then you would do pickups. So again, releasing, 
squeezing up, releasing, squeezing up. Now from here, uh, you continue your stroke by then folding at your elbow and pulling up from your shoulder. So this is really the full stroke. Release, pull, squeeze up into your arm and your shoulder and come down. Same with the left hand, squeezing, coming back, so you get that really solid crisp sound. It's all force, but everything moves consistently and comes right down to that position. See? Uh, okay, so from these basic uh, now once you kind of establish that, then you get into really just really elementary primary movements. And these were um, you know, what he would call pickups. And I, as I recall, I think it was kind of from this kind of closed position where your fingers were pushed against it and it was totally just a wrist movement, pure wrist movement. There wasn't any fingers involved, just wrist. And it would be one, chick it to two, chick it to three, chick it to four, chick it to one, chick it to two. And you don't have to really hit the drum. It's just, it's just, it's just you want to kind of come off the drum as much as possible. So it's, it's getting that, that feeling of letting, it, letting the stick drop and then squeezing it back up. And he used to always uh, give you these kind of vocal phrases um, to kind of help you kind of make your movement some kind of a musical... Uh, 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 aspect to it, so it was. It was always one, chicka da two, chicka da three, chicka da four. Then he had um, kind of fundamental alternating strokes, and uh, again, it was always about learning your your technique in a relaxed mindset and body. So uh, rather than you kind of thinking, I want to turn the stick down, I'm going to move the stick down to the drum, you just let the hand drop. It's just a drop. Just relax. 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 And these are basically your, again, your fundamental alternating strokes. Put everything kind of in that position, going to and from your strike position, and coming up But you see, even though I hit the drum, my position is about an inch off the drum. So, so it's just the momentum of the stick carries it to hit the drum, but it actually stops because my arm and my forearm are established in that strike position. And just again, just a simple turn and just, just let the stick bring the hand down. So that's pretty much a good starting point. That was pretty much your introductory uh, lesson uh, for Fred. Of course, that would take a span of maybe a month to even <laughs> do what I just covered in 15 minutes here. But uh, that's pretty, pretty much a good starting point. Uh, lesson two, I'll get into um, some other things, uh, releases and, uh, and such. But uh, till next time, you, you kind of work on some of those things I showed you. And uh, till next time, you keep it snappy. Thanks. Bye-bye.